Hi, it's Jamila again, and today I would like to talk about um, competition and finding your place because I actually believe that competition is unnecessary and that each person has such a unique place and such a necessary place in the world that it's more about finding your purpose, finding your destiny and finding your place, you know, by following your passions. And by that, you'll find your niche and you'll find your clients or you'll find your customers or your followers or your fans by simply being who you are and investing in that. Um, as a natural stylist, I think one thing that's really important is um, never becoming, never feeling as though you've arrived. And I feel that I can learn something from anyone, whether it's a new stylist who's just coming out of school, a shampoo assistant, another stylist, a veteran stylist, you know, an educator, a product developer. I can learn something from everyone. So I'm definitely kind to everyone, but I'm also listening intently because, you know, there may be some piece of information that they have that could be the missing piece to what I've been looking for. Or it could be some piece of information that could expedite or or perfect a craft that I already have. It can be a piece that allows me to build on my business and make my business better or make my or make me better as a person. But I always have the attitude that I can learn in whatever environment, from whoever, from, you know, whatever I'm dealing with, that there's probably some learning opportunity in it. And I look for that. I look for that opportunity in every conversation. I look for that opportunity with every client, every person who sits in my chair, um, every discussion that we have. There's always something that I can learn. There's always something that you know, I can build on, even if with each client, I'm just learning that particular person and how to please them, how to make their experience better, how to make them feel more comfortable. But I'm still learning with each encounter that I have. Um, another thing is um, reading is very important, of course, and observing other people in their craft and in, you know, their, 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 their skill set and watching other people do what they enjoy or what they're really good at. These are all things that improve me as a stylist and improve me as a person. So I'm always looking to learn. I'm always looking to grow. I'm always looking to mature. And so I expect that to come to me and it comes. Sometimes it comes, you know, through people. Sometimes it comes through television. Sometimes it comes through a sign or a billboard. Sometimes it may even come through a license plate or a bumper sticker, but I'm always expecting my questions to be answered. And I'm always expecting to learn something that will lead me to the next level or the next direction or the next opportunity that God has for me. Um, and I expect this every day and in every arena through running errands at the grocery store, um, in my work environment, but I'm always expecting, expecting to receive the information, the direction and the instruction that I need. And I'm never disappointed.